Hi, I'm James Norton for Chow.com Super Taster. I'm on East Lake Street in Minneapolis today at Aldi. If you don't know Aldi, it's owned by the same German company that controls Trader Joe's, but it's definitely the down market alternative. Still, I've heard some cool things about the kind of food they have in here, so I'm going to go and check it out and see if I can share a discovery or two with you. So I'm back from Aldi. What a crazy alternate universe that is. You'd be looking around and you just have this kind of like doppelganger thing where you go, Hey, Honey Nut Cheerios, whoa, you're not Honey Nut Cheerios, you're Honey Nut Crispy Oats. And you kind of check yourself, and then you say, oh, look, it's Nature Valley Granola Bars. No, it's not Nature Valley Granola Bars. The thing that really caught my mind that I wanted to tackle, actually, were the fake miniature candy bars. You've got Titan, which is essentially a uh, Milky Way. You've got Racer, essentially a uh, Snickers. And Dreamy, uh, two E's, no A light whipped nougat covered with milk chocolate. So you're three musketeers. Now, the interesting thing about these uh, bars, besides the hilariously uh, sort of misspelled copyrighted names, is the fact that they are roughly half as expensive as their counterparts. Let's try the Dreamy, which is supposed to be like three musketeers. It's three musketeers. I mean, it's almost indistinguishable. It's a little less light, a little less whipped, but man, is that similar. All right, let's try the Titan or the Milky Way. The nougat's not quite as as creamy or silky. It doesn't have as much texture or pull to it. Not quite as good, not terrible. It's really an okay chocolate bar. Finally, the Snickers ripoff uh, racer. More of a peanuty kick to it. The nougat is kind of missing in action. It's really okay. It isn't a Snickers bar. You're not going to think it's a Snickers bar. It's Snickers-esque, and in its own right, it's way less expensive and really not bad. I'll do some more Aldi products down the line, but in the meantime, I've got some fun duties to execute. I've got a couple of shirts to give out on Twitter. Uh, I'd like to thank at ScottyZachMT89. Uh, you are the winner of our Chow.com t-shirt. I'll be in touch with you by direct message, uh, and we'll get one shipped out to you. And on Facebook, I'd like to thank Kevin Vidala and say, your shirt's on the way, I'll be in touch. Everyone else who's interested in t-shirts, just keep following Chow.com Super Taster on Facebook and on Twitter and over at Chow.com. We'll give out a t-shirt there pretty soon, too. I've had a great week. I hope you have, too. And I will see you on Monday with more great food.